Hi, I'm Geodav and in this video what we're going to do is try my best to do some smoothing for Blender to Unreal Engine but also include the, uh, the morph target. Now I've been asked to look into this because people have some people are having problems. I've just had a, I won't say a quick test run, but uh, I've had a test run. So what I've got here is a fairly simple sphere. Quickly show the UV layout. And if I select, up, select object, go on, edit mode, you can barely see says so for some reason the, uh, the crosses are missing there but uh, select tall there we go the uh, different bits and pieces nothing special there back to default right so what we're going to do is one of the little cheats I've used on this well I don't know whether it's a cheat well, oh, just to show, I have a material and a texture applied. Uh, one of the things I've done here, I want to do is just put that onto flat. So you can see that's all flat. And in here, in the, the data section, I can put, put on auto smooth. Now, I believe... some reason you may have to oh, come on uh, now I'm hoping he said that has worked out correctly so set I mean if I set, set the out I don't know why it's going on to 90 there now if I, I do that you tend to lose the edges here. Now, if I set that down to 90, you get your edges back. I suppose if you set it to 45, now that is, that looks even better to me. Now it's fantastic. I like that. That gets rid of those issues that I was having there in the, the corners. Okay, so you can use Auto Smooth. Now what I'm going to do here is try as quick as possible. I'm just going to add two shape keys. Sh shape keys are what is called in Blender in the majority of any other pro 3D program I've used. It's called a morph target. Why? Don't know. Don't ask me. I didn't make the rules. So let's see. I should have put the shape key. Uh, screencast keys doesn't quite work too well in the newer versions of Blender, but hey ho. Right, so what I'm going to do here is as quickly as possible make a morph target. And I'm just se selecting the faces that I don't actually want and to use and there we go we've got the outer outer faces there now what I should have done is put another sort of like loop like what I've done in there but uh, there you go. and I'm just going to scale these out a bit why is that not working oh, come on uh, all right yeah okay control Z I know why I'm having issues there, so let's go back into the uh, that view. Press Z to get it on wireframe. Right. right, in fact, unselect all, box select, get those ones, box select, get those ones. Uh, control plus to increase the selection, control I to invert the selection. 
move to a slightly different view, S to scale, and none of it's moving. Why is that not working? This is the exact same workflow that I used. Yes. Why is that not working? Come on. Uh, something's gone wrong there. For some reason, it's already got. Hmm. That is very strange because that is not what I was wanting. Let's see. It. No, it's easy, it's easy, it's easy, it's easy. No, that's not having it. So, what I'm going to do is just. Slide. That yes, remove. Let's go. Delete, delete. Let's go. Add, add. Tab. Tab is not. It's not doing anything now, right? So let's get that at a value of one. So let's do this again. Box select, box select, control plus, control I to invert the selection, move it a touch. Scale, there we go, that's what I was wanting. Happy with that. So now, if I select that and we go back down here, okay. So the value is at zero. We click on make sure we're on the base. Basis tab out Z and missing smoothing has gone. Uh, not good. So back into there, let's see. Auto smooth. There we go. Just clicked on smooth again there. Let's check that. That's fine. Up there. Now we're going to export. Well, first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. Ah, oh dear. Save as. Increment a smooth, smooth, smooth one. Okay. Now export FBX. After I'm using. As you can see here, 2.74 Blender, uh, FBX 7.4. I have the knob, I'll just move that up, up there a bit so you can see. I have normal selected and tangent space. So, um, let's see, this time it didn't do it. Okay. Export that into Unreal Engine. Get the content browser up. As you can see, I've already done this. But, uh, uh, import uh, smooth one. Open. Now this is where it seems a little bit funny, but you have to. Moth targets, as far as I'm aware, only work on skeletal meshes. So, because normally you won't see that, you'll just get that. 
you know, import mesh, import as skeletal. So if you don't, right, at the moment you've got nothing there. Let's see if it right, that's if you go import mesh, you still don't get the option for morph targets. So import a skeletal, make sure you tick the import as morph targets, normals and tangents. I don't create physics assets straight away as you well are aware. And have everything else switched off for good reasons. I'll show you why in a moment. So we'll just import that. Come on. Uh, again, because we use the normal normals export, it will say there's no smooth groups. But when we have a look at this, you'll see that actually looks quite okay. Quite nice and smooth. We've got rid of those issues in the corners that I was having. And one of the funny things in the morph target works fine. And you can even go backwards. Don't ask me how that works, but hey ho, it does. You get funny lighting on there because I think the faces will get inverted there, but just so just so you're aware now the one thing the one other thing i wanted to show you well we're not we're not going to deal with that at the moment everything always the same now what i've done here i've created a get out of the way a very simple material there's a, a ve three vector set to red. I've got metallic set at point one and my roughness set at point two. But the thing is, what you have to remember, because otherwise you get a little error that comes up, is make sure whatever material you're using is ticked to be used with moth targets. Yeah? Happy? No? Let's get back to my content browser. Just drag that one into there. Happy with that. Don't think there's anything else we need to worry about there. So as you can see, triangles, vertices, UV channel, current size and the approximate sizes. Uh, if you if you watched, I did not intentionally deal with any of the the sizes and scales in Blender. The reason for that is because I work purely where possible to the correct scales. E.g. Blender is set at the settings are set at none, which means a blender unit will be one centimeter or one unreal unit. So let's see get that. Uh, smooth one, that's this one here. Let's just put that up there. And let's see if I go to not really a great fan of, <laughs> as you may know, of uh, blueprints. So we're just going to do my best. Set a morph. Exactly what I've got copied up there, just so you can see it. So I'm going to put that to there, put that to there. And just so you can see. Come on, oh there it is. What I've done here, I've just created a float track, added a few keys, set to autoplay and loop, just recompile that and if this works I mean we could go on to simulate but I, I actually prefer going in so 
And for some reason that's not working. Why is that not working? Okay. No, I've got no idea why that is not working. Oh yeah, there we go, because I didn't put the morph, as you can see here, I put the morph target name in there and I didn't there. So, now you've got to remember what it was in Blender. So, we do that. Let's just go on to simulate. And look, it's it's pumping up and down. So we'll stop the simulation because I don't like using that. And I will actually play in viewport. And you can see it pumping up and down, down, up. My ball ball then goes straight through it and so do I because there's no physics asset to it okay that's the only reason so it does work your smoothing will come through and if it doesn't just reset it in blender and you'll be fine okay now I hope that helps and a little bit on the morph target thanks to tesla dev for that because that's how i found how to do the the uh, this bit very nice okay mate thanks a lot and i'll see you soon